Do you need to know how many times a particular word appears in a document or a portion of a document? Well, here's a handy trick that will tell you the count using a tool with which you are already familiar. There are times that I need to know how often I've used a particular word in a document or even in a part of a document. The word count tool, which is available over here on the review tab of the ribbon, right here, that word count tool tells you the total number of words in the document, but it doesn't allow you to figure out how many times a particular word appears within the document. So it's not gonna be of any help. We'll go back over to the Home tab of the ribbon here and look at ways that you can figure out how to find out about a particular word. One way that people often use is to go ahead and press the Control F key and when they do, the navigation pane is shown at the left side of the screen. Notice that the insertion point is blinking within the box and you can just type, if you want to, the word that you want to look for. I want to look for the word rabbit in here. And it tells me that there are 57 results. This is great if you want to know it for the entire document. That's what's shown here. It's not so good, though, if you want to find out for a portion of the document. So, for instance, let's go back over to the document here, and I'm going to select these paragraphs right here at the beginning of the document, just on this first page. Notice it still says 57 results over here. Even if I close this, still have this selected, and now press Control F, notice what it's showing in the left side of the screen. It's showing me all of the text that I had selected when I displayed the navigation taskbar. If I now go ahead and type the word rabbit in here, then what Word does is it ignores what I had selected and again shows me that I had 57 results within the entire document. So if you just want a count of word occurrences within a selection of your text, well, then the navigation pane isn't the way to go. I'm going to go ahead and press Escape to get out of that, and we'll jump right into a solution that uses an old tried-and-true method of using the advanced searching capabilities of Word. All you have to do is go ahead and press Control H, and that displays the Find and Replace dialog box. Now notice that the word rabbit is already in here. That's because we used it in the navigation pane just a few moments ago. I still want to search for the word rabbit, but right here on the replace box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in two special characters. The caret character, which is a shift six, followed by the ampersand character, which is a shift seven. This is a special code that tells Word that you want to replace what is found with the thing that you actually searched for. In other words, you're not going to make any change in the document whatsoever. You're going to search for the word rabbit and replace it with the word rabbit. Now, if you're concerned about Word finding false positives in Word variations, for instance, searching for car and finding care, caring, and carbuncle, then click the More button right down here and indicate that you want to find whole words only. Now I can go ahead and click on Replace All, and Word does all of the replacements and displays a dialog box that indicates how many replacements it did. And it tells us that it made five replacements within just that selected text that we had. This is your word count. This is the number of instances of the word rabbit that appeared within that selected text. At this point, I can go ahead and click on No, and then I can close the dialog box, and I have exactly what I wanted to know. Now, if you're skittish about doing find and replace operations, make sure that you save your document before using this workaround. Plus, you can make double sure that there were no changes by simply pressing Ctrl-Z right after dismissing the Find and Replace dialog box. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, be sure to share it with other people who may find it interesting as well. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.